Hey guys, uh, this is Hans Hobbies, and I'm in the middle of uh, trying to film a couple review videos. And while I'm in the middle of filming those and editing those, I thought I, I would show you guys this thing. So this is a WPL C24, I believe, um, that I got on Amazon for, I think like 45 bucks or something, like 50 bucks. Um, there are cheaper versions, like there's like a $30 version, there's like a $25 version. Those are pretty terrible, honestly. Um, if you pay a little bit more and get the $50 version, like this one, you do get slightly better stuff. You get um, softer tires, you get slightly softer tires. You get an actual servo, um, you, get, you get proportional throttle. Um, you get, um, I forget what else you got. Oh, you get a light a lithium polymer battery, and it just it just has a, a, a little bit better stuff on it. Like the all the mechanicals are basically the same, but you do get slightly better stuff if you get the slightly more expensive one, obviously. But um, this is mine that I got, and it looks pretty stock, and that's uh, intentional. It's very the opposite of stock, as you can see from the bottom here. Uh, I re very recently finished this, I think. Um, I got this like two years ago and I started and then I st stripped out um, the gearbox, the plastic gearbox on it maybe like a couple weeks in and then I decided uh, I'm going to replace that with a metal box and then I bought some stuff and then it didn't fit. I needed something else to fit that part so I bought some other stuff. And that didn't fit without buying something else. And then eventually what ended up happening is every, basically everything ended up getting replaced. Um, except for like the main chassis and the, uh, the body and such. So it's one of those projects that took way too long and way too much money. And the result is something that's pretty decent. Um, it's pretty cool, but also definitely not worth the money and I definitely wouldn't do it again but anyway it's done and basically what I've done in it with it and I, I'll, I'll kind of show you around with the WPL if you guys haven't ever seen one of these before um, so it is a, a supposed to be like a scale crawler it's 1 16th scale so it's got these like um, uh, what are they called They're like a copy of like a real tire, which is also a copy of like a name brand, like 10 scale crawler tire. I can't remember the name right now for some reason, but so the tires have a pretty good tread and the one on this $50 version has slightly softer tire compound, though it, it is still pretty hard um, compared to what you usually expect from a crawler. These aren't beadlocks, these are just plastic wheels, and they're usually white. I just painted mine silver. Um, and it has solid axle in the front, solid axle in the rear, the transmission in the middle, and then drive shaft, drive shaft. Plastic, usually has plastic links. Um, usually has also a much smaller motor, like one of those motors you see in like a Mini Z, or like one of those like Walmart 124th scale RC cars. So it has a pretty small motor, so it doesn't have a lot of torque and a lot of power, but it's decent for what it is and how much you're paying for it. And it has pretty good detail on it too. It does have a pretty scale look. Um, nothing's like it comes with this cool like camper shell that comes off, and it has an in-depth uh, uh, bed that which is also nice. It has these clear parts for the tail lights. They're also usually clear, but I painted them red. Um, it has a full interior with the full dash and everything. That's also really cool. It has these um, wing mirrors, though side view mirrors, though they don't always fit kind of right, so you might want to glue those down. It has uh, windshield wipers, the snorkel. Um, this hood is usually just blue. I just vinyl wrapped it in matte black. And the camper shell also has this bit that opens up, which is cool. And it's also got the side steps and 
door handles, a lot of a lot of cool details, headlight lenses, turn sign signal lenses, and all that. Those are all separate parts. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, it does have headlights, which I'll show you. And a really cool part about this is you can take the you, this this little toolbox thing, you open that, and that's where the battery mounts, and the battery that comes with it is this basically this really I wrapped it in electrical tape because the casing was falling apart, but Basically, it's this like two AA battery sized LiPo battery. And you can tell it's a LiPo battery, one, because it said LiPo on it, and two, because um, you can see there's a LiPo charge lead on it. So you can charge it with this uh, standard LiPo charger, which is nice. I did put a different plug on it because I do have a full ESC here. I used to just have like a, a printed circuit board with all the radio and everything just all built in. Uh, I decided to put in a ESC in here, like a, a mini, like a micro ESC, put in a actual full size receiver so I can drive it with this actual hobby grade uh, radio instead of the crappy little WPL radio that it came with, which is this one. Though this one is nicer than the other version because it does have proportional steering but it is pretty cheap and pretty crappy so it is nice that I get to drive it with a full radio now um, I not, I'm not gonna take the body off and show you all the electronics and stuff inside because the body screws on in multiple parts and I don't feel like taking it off but basically I put all the electronics in this front there's like a front electronics tray up here and basically I put it put all of them in there I put a mini Savox waterproof servo in here, which is overkill, but it's just what I had on hand. I had for a different car, but I ended up selling that car, and that part got left behind. And this thing is spinning for some reason. But some of the, some of the other changes I made is I put in a much larger motor. It also is connected to a reduction gearbox and has an aluminum gearbox case. has metal drive shafts, front and rear has metal links um, all the way around and the inner axles in here are also changed to metal axles though the housings are still plastic they do make metal housings for these but I already spent enough money on this and there was no real point of doing that so that's just gonna stay like that for, for now um, but I'll plug this thing in and show you guys what it's like when it's on so I do have to still make the ESC battery lead slightly longer so it will actually um, come in all the way into the battery compartment. But for now I can just thread this battery charge lead in. And you can see the battery tray is pretty large so you can, you can definitely put in a larger LiPo in there too. Um, just thread it in and then just plug it in from the bottom here. I decided to go with these plugs because that's what a lot of hobby grade micro crawlers and stuff seem to use like my 118th scale Galenda 2 has a lipo battery that uses these plugs so that's what I've decided to go with so that's all plugged in and I managed to keep the switch in the stock switch uh, pocket though the switch is kind of small now so it's hard to get to It's not undoable, so you turn it on. Come on, turn it on. Turn it. There we go, it's on. And the cool thing about this is it comes with halogen style, like warmer bulbs, which is very cool because this is supposed to be an older truck and be very weird to have like HID style, like bright LEDs in it. So I managed to keep the stock headlights in it. Um, it doesn't come with tail lights, so it probably wouldn't be very hard to wire some up. And turning the radio on, you can see it has full steering, though so it has a lot of bump steer. And it has full proportional control. And because it has the bigger motor and the gearbox, it does climb and uh, move over obstacles a lot better 
and I, I don't have to worry about over torquing any driveline components because it's all steel now. So that's gonna be nice. Um, the shocks on it are stock shocks because there's not a lot of shocks that will fit on this, especially if you want it to stay soft. So I do still have the stock sh like shocks on it, and that is the maximum amount of flex you're gonna get out of it, which is not a lot, but that's pretty comparable to like if this car was a real car, you're not really gonna get more flex than this out of a stock truck. So. It does what I want. It looks the way I want. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I just wish it didn't take so much effort because I would have much rather put my time into something else. But it is still a pretty cool, like a pretty cool truck to have. You can like maybe deliver shocks or something across your desk. So the playability is pretty good and I definitely improved the reliability of the truck too. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Um, as always, if you liked it, like, subscribe, comment down below, all the good YouTube shenanigans, and um, I'll see you guys next time.